Oh my God, that's him. Who's online? No. Mm. Painted Angel. No way. Yeah. So have you told him yet? Huh? No. Why not? But don't worry about it. He'll find out eventually. Good luck with that. I love you. I love you too. Hey, um, have you heard about any rumors or anything flying around? It's flying. He doesn't know, does he? I think he does. Dude, is it really true? She's so busted. Have you seen this? Oh, hell no. Nothing changes the past and only one thing changes the future, and that's your decisions. They say this place is the ghost capital of the world. So do you think we'll see the babies anytime soon? You mean in heaven? Yeah. I would say the way that things are going, it'll be very soon. Are you scared? Hey, nobody tells me how to produce records. I'm the boss. You got that? Things are not long good at the label. Are you guys about through trying to tell me how to run my own label? People are starting to talk. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm fixing to rip your big wigs off. Since the fire, everything seems different. I'm having those dreams about the fire again. You're gonna be fine. I'll chase your butterflies away. You have to do the right thing. Yeah, that's not fair if you're not there. And I have a lot of other responsibilities. But I'm also one of your responsibilities. I realize that, Jamie. I love you. I love you Are you crying because you're on the radio, or are you crying because you miss the babies? Don't worry, we'll be home with them soon. I'm worried about Haley. We're fine, and the babies are in heaven now. I know.
Thomas, here comes another one of them bombers. Big Mike, something doesn't seem right here. Man, this place gives me the creeps. You know, you really should keep the noise down. It's gonna attract a lot of bodies. I'm gonna go check those buildings. You make sure you watch these people. Whatever, Irishman. Being a fucking zombie apocalypse, right? Come on, guys. Can we all just get along? We're trying. It's really <sighs> hot out here. We've gotta find a place to hide. That's why I said Seamus to go look for that building. Let's go. No Come on. kidding. Come on. your regularly scheduled program for a special report. Uh, yeah, this is John Albright, and uh, we're going straight to Sarah Winters, who's live downtown. Sarah, are you there? Yes, John. I'm downtown here where martial law has just gone into effect. And if you look behind me, you can see chaos in the streets. We have people rushing around in and out of this grocery store, wasting no time. Come on, Kim, hurry up! We gotta help these people now. Please. 
Creek Paranormal. And when did the haunting start? Damien, I think we're on to something here. Really? We were in another dimension and we tried to get back. Anyway, it's just really good to have you back, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. So, what happened when you guys went through the portal? What do you mean, what happened? We went through a portal. That's what happened. And you know, it seems like since this whole thing with the portal, you and Abigail have been getting a lot more serious. Well, I am going to be honest with you. I do have feelings for her. I understand. I just don't know how to tell her. So is there anything that I shouldn't say when we go in? Yeah, ghost. Ghost. Hey, I wouldn't go in that place if I were you. how you guys got back. You know, it's kind of weird. We're still trying to figure that out. So do you think you could find your way back through the portal? I think I can find a way. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. OK, now this place is kind of freaky because it's like a scientific research lab, government. So be careful. Okay. When you guys were there, did you interact with anybody or talk to anybody? Quite a few people, actually. 